Hi, this is Muscle, and this is Entertainment Report News. Tabby Diamond, lead singer for the legendary Jamaican reggae group The Mighty Diamonds, was one of two people killed on Tuesday night in a drive-by shooting on McKinley Drive in St. Andrew. The St. Andrew South Police confirmed that Tabby Diamond, whose real name is Donald Shaw, and Owen Beckford were killed when a gunman opened fire on a group of people outside a shop around 9.42 p.m. Shaw was 67. The Mighty Diamonds was formed in 1969, and of the original trio, the only surviving member is Lloyd Judge Ferguson. A grieving Lloyd Judge Ferguson said he had not slept all night after hearing the news. He told Dancehall Mag, quote, Tabby was one of the great soul singers. We toured the world together. He will be greatly missed. We had plans to tour Europe, the Caribbean, and Africa. We were doing our 47th album, plus we had two more albums for other producers. I don't know what is going to happen going forward. The Mighty Diamonds is known for hits such as Have Mercy, Pass the Kutchy, which became an international hit twice, and I Need a Roof. Originally, they called themselves the Limelight. However, that name was short-lived as one of the group members' mothers assigned them the moniker the Diamonds, which eventually evolved into the Mighty Diamonds. The group's breakthrough came in 1973 with the release of their hit Shame and Pride. They kept the momentum working studiously with the label Channel One, an association that birthed hits such as Country Living and Hey Girl. Virgin Records signed the Mighty Diamonds and the album Right Time was released in 1976, becoming an international success. The next album, Deeper Roots, released in 1979, was their next big success. Three years later, in 1982, celebrated Jamaican music producer Gussie Clark tasked the group with completing an album entitled Changes, which featured the monster hit Pass the Kutchy done on the full up rhythm. It spawned a series of interpretations, amongst them Pass the Duchy by the London Newcomers musical use. In 2021, during Jamaica's 59th Independent Celebrations, the group was honored in the National Honors and Awards. Thank you for watching.